this right now, Father God, Lord. Let the young martyrs right now to be in your presence right now, Father God, Lord. We stand here in your presence right now, Father God. As he could, like the song oh, says, he can move mountains, amen. Yes, we can't move it. We can't move it. He can, can move it. Can. He can move oh, mountains. Yes, and, he, and, and, and that mountain that he moved well, in your life before, Mary, he could do it again, amen. Oh, yes, Jesus, we just thank you, Jesus. We thank you, we come, we thank you, we just, we, just, we just lift all our needs up to you tonight, Father God. Whatever it is that's weighing us down, whatever it is that's just too heavy for us, too heavy to carry, Father God. We just give it to you, Lord God. I believe each and every one of us in this room, Father God, has something, Father God, that we just can't, we just can't carry anymore. We just need to just release it. We just need to release it, Father Father God, I just, I just lift up everyone tonight, Father God. I just pray, Father God, that, that those that are here, Father God, understand, Father God, that, that you love them, Father God. You love us, Lord God. The Bible says in Romans 5 to 8, Father God, that while yet we were still sinners, you died for us. So, Father God, we thank you tonight, Father God. And give you praise and glory. And everybody says, Amen. 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 To somebody, amen. Say, tell somebody, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm glad you're here. Amen. I'm glad you're here. Amen. I'm glad I'm here. Amen. I'm glad my wife didn't keep me out of the house this week. Amen. I'm glad I'm here. Amen. I'm glad she's here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We could be anywhere else on a Friday night. Glad you're here. Hey, praise the Lord. We know where we need to be. Amen. We're not, we're not at the Red Onion. The, the Red Onion is still around? No. no. It's oh, the Lord. 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 Amen. We're not at Happy Hour. Yeah, it's Portos. We're not at Happy Hour at the El Pascor or whatever that is. Pescador. Amen. We're not at Happy Hour. We're always, we're Happy Hour. We're Happy Hour. Amen. This is the Happy Hour. Amen. Amen. When you're with Jesus, every hour is Happy Hour. Amen. 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 Welcome all you tonight, amen. Uh, we have a, 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 quite a few people missing tonight, amen. Um, uh, Brother Randy had uh, his, his grandson, um, his, his, uh, his, uh, his high school uh, marching band, and uh, so they're doing the football game tonight, so they're out there supporting him, praise the Lord. Good. That's a good grandpa right there, yeah. amen. And uh, uh, Nico, and Nico and his mom, amen. Uh, Sarah's mom, Nico's grandma, is real sick, so they've been kind of switching off and watching her. Amen. So we gotta keep her, keep them in prayer. Amen. Matter of fact, my wife and I are gonna go over to the grandma's house tomorrow and, and anoint her with oil and pray for her. Amen. So uh, keep us in prayer for that. Amen. You know their their grandma is real um, Catholic. Amen. But, uh, amen, but we know we have a God that's bigger than that, amen? Amen. Right. Amen. Right. amen. Um, I can't that's remember the mom's okay. name, that's amen? Just put uh, Sarah Nico's mom, grandma. Sarah Nico's grandma, yeah. amen? And then, um, uh, uh, Jul uh, Julian, amen, Julian, we got to keep him in prayer, yeah. amen? Uh, Scott's boy, amen? Uh, he was he's sick, amen, he was at Kaiser, and we gotta keep him in prayer also for healing, amen. How old is he? Uh, Adrian's what? Julian's gonna be five Julian, years old. He's just shy of five years old. Oh, yeah. Five years old, amen. Yeah, he's good. Just yeah. Amen. And uh, uh, Johnny, Johnny had he te he just texted me right before Bible study. He's running late. He's gonna try to get here, but he's coming all the way from Long Beach. They have training today out there. He he's a casual worker at the ports. So whenever uh, his number comes up, he has to go, amen? So um, that's understandable, amen? But they had training out there today, so um, he didn't think it was going to be that long. But he's going to try to make it, so we'll just keep him in prayer also. His mom's still not doing good, Marie, amen? So we get to keep, keep that in prayer. And, um, Johnny's, Johnny's, he's really... He, how can I say it? As, as we said earlier, amen, he's dealing with a lot of heaviness, Johnny is. And uh, I, I've been discipling him and talking to him, amen, but it's like, he's, you know, 
He's the only one that's really taking care of his mom. Amen. He's not getting help from anybody else. So um, it's really weighing them down. Amen. So we just need to just pray that God just gives them that strength. Amen. That strength to just keep going. Amen. I tell them, don't just don't lose focus, brother. Just don't lose focus. Where do they live? Amen. They live in La Amen. And um, so yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, keep those needs in prayer. Amen. Those that uh, uh, brother Frank. Amen. He had a prior engagement. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us pray the trouble. Amen. So you know. We can, Keep that in prayer, amen. We're going to celebrate his birthday today here, amen. But amen. The, bir the birthday boy decided to go somewhere else, amen. Amen, praise the Lord, amen. But as far as, uh, as far as, I, I, I want to thank all of you that came out to the church picnic, amen. Uh, a lot of food, amen. Right after you left, they started the volleyball game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it was be. all it was all guys. So you, yeah, you it was all guys. I'm used to playing with all guys. Oh no other women want to play. But uh, yeah, they started, then they, works. and then uh, mm -hmm. then they they took a break and they started another one, amen. Uh, but yeah, so uh, they had the volleyball game going and everything, amen. So it was a good time at the church picnic, amen. Thank all of you that came, amen. And we look forward to the next one next year, amen, for Memorial Day. And then um, we will be having Bible study next Friday, well, the rest of the month. On Friday, we will be having Bible study, amen, and uh, let's see what we got going on here for this coming week, and that's, no evidence, or... that's about it, amen, uh, uh, the 25th, you can put this on your calendar now, but I'll remind you as we get uh, next Friday, uh, but on the 25th, there's the Women's Discipleship mm -hmm. at 10 a.m., amen, also we'll be having an outreach uh, right after morning prayer that morning, amen, we'll be having an outreach, uh, so, um, so mainly the women, I guess the women will be at the Women's Discipleship, and us guys will be out, we're going to go outreach, amen, and don't forget tomorrow, uh, Saturday morning at 8 o'clock is prayer, amen, mm -hmm. from 8 to 9, if you can't make it, please pray at home, no, regardless, we should be praying at home anyway, can someone say amen, 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 amen. And then our men's discipleship is on the last Monday of the month, the 27th. Um, as soon as I find out who the speaker is going to be, I'll, I'll let you all know. Amen. And hopefully you'll come out and invite somebody. Amen. And we always have a good time. Amen. Good food afterwards also. Amen. And uh, do, you know, do you know who's speaking at the women's discipleship? Yeah. You haven't said anything? <coughs> amen. So praise the Lord. Whoever it is, you know it's going to be powerful. Amen. And that's about it as far as the calendar goes. Um, next week we'll touch bases on some more. Amen. Um, but yeah, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, 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 oh yeah, Raylene and Nadine, they had a funeral to go to today. So that's why they're not here. Amen. Uh, so uh, yeah, you know, thing, things happen. Amen. It's like uh, things always happen on church nights and Bible study nights. Amen. The right. devil's a liar. Can someone say amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The devil's a liar. Amen. Does anybody have any praise reports tonight? Scott? Um, just the praise report. My mom is doing a lot better. Amen. She's, she's now being able to get up on her own out of the chair and, and other things that she can do on her own now. So my sister, thank, uh, thank God that she came out when she did. but um, And she left. But yeah, so all, everybody's prayer... From the moment that she had the heart attack until now, it's just wow. those prayers helped, and like I said, she's she's uh, on the up. So really? yeah, so thank you so much for it, and I just want to praise God for her her recovery. Is she able to know that you've lost all your weight? If she huh? if she's seen you to where she notices that you've lost all My your mom? weight? mom? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh good. Good. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Good. So she's. Are you Jackie? Yes. Hold on. We, we got a we have a call from Texas. Hold on, sweetheart. Hold on. Yeah, hold on one second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. The... Can you show me? Oh, okay, this is my husband, Dario. Hi, God bless you. Hello, thank you. This is the mother of the baby, Rodriguez, that we've been praying for. I was oh. just thinking about him. Um, he's doing great. Oh, he's praise so God. Amen. 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 So, uh, she wanted to thank everybody. Oh. And this is just half of the people here that prayed for your son. 
I also have another uh, woman's group, like about another 19 women that I reached out to to pray that they're not here tonight, but um, I'm going to have somebody film this. I can go ahead and send it to them so you can thank everybody. So I'm going to turn you around so you can see everybody. Every wave. Hey, wave. Hey, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hi. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hi. Half of our Bible study is not here. We're missing about nine people. But yeah, they were also evil. praying. They were all praying for Baby Rodriguez also, and, they still are. and okay. we're still going to um, yeah. continue praying. Mm -hmm. restoration on his mind, his, yes, his body, yes, his yes, heart, yes, right Father God, everything yes, through yes, his body, yes, Father yes, God. Yes. And Father God, this is going to, this, this is his testimony. Yes. This is not my testimony. This is not his grandma's or his mom, his dad or anybody. This is his testimony. Amen. And this, his testimony Amen. is going to reach the world, Father God, one day, Father God. Because as your word says, Father God, we're even going to study tonight that he's going to be a witness for your glory. Amen. So, Father God, we just pray, yes. pray, yes. Father God, tonight. We lift up the family. We lift up the parents, the grandparents. Give them strength, Lord God. Yes. Continue fighting the good fight of faith, Father God. And, Father God, I just pray, Father God, that the family, Father God, just finds a good church out there in yes. Texas, Lord God. Uh, lead them to a good Bible teaching church filled with the Holy Spirit, yes. Father God. And, Father God, but, Father God, that they just recognize that to give you the glory. Yes, yes. We thank you and thank praise Jesus. you. In Jesus' name, and everybody say, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. <laughs> we're going to continue praying. We're going to continue praying. We're, we're gonna continue praying. So just know that, you know, we're not stop. We're not stop praying. We're not stopping. Amen. What part of Texas you at? Oh, you're in Austin? Yes. Well, we're going to have to take a road trip out there, right, Bible study? Yeah. yeah. We're going to have to take a road trip one day. 
Amen. We got a place to stay. <laughs> Awesome. His awesome. healing is there. He is so cute. <laughs> That's a little man. He's adorable. The king. <laughs> oh, thank you for sharing, and we're gonna continue praying. Keep sending us the praise report so I can keep sh I can keep sharing with them. Okay. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. Love you, baby. Bye. Thank you for all your prayers, Jeez. amen. I mean, that, that goes to show, wow. amen, that God hears prayers, amen. Amen. There's nothing, you know, he hears the prayers of the what? Of the righteous. righteous. Right. Amen. Of the righteous, amen. Yes. Uh, before we get started, this, uh, to, as we know, tomorrow, uh, September 11th, amen, mm. is the day our whole world was turned upside down. 20 amen. years ago. And it is the 20th anniversary, amen, and uh, we know that there's going to be all kind of, kind of mm -hmm. memorial things going on um, throughout the world, amen. Mm -hmm. um, so tomorrow during, during your busy day, please take a moment, amen, a moment, and uh, you know, as people would think, be doing a moment of silence, take a moment and just, you know, lift up those, lift up those that, 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 uh, that passed away, the families that are still dealing with the, you know, with that, amen, and the first responders that, that are still alive, that are still dealing with that PTSD because of that, and uh, so please, just take a moment tomorrow, amen, amen. and uh, just, this 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 a prayer, a thought, amen, and if uh, you run into a police officer or a fireman or anything, even though they weren't there, even though they're here, just thankful for their service. Can someone say amen? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. That's one thing I do. Every time I see a police officer or even a paramedic, a fireman, uh, even an ambulance driver, I always thank them for their services. Amen. That's good. That's good. You had a crazy for me, huh? Uh, just uh, working. Hey! hey. hey. Wow. So sober living, working. I'm not, not hustling, like, doing things that we've Okay, turn walks into, into a room, he's dancing. Good yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was good to see him Monday. Yeah. Oh, he's he gained weight, he's gained weight. He looks healthy, yeah. he looks good. Yeah. He's and good. Amen. Yeah. And he, the prodigals, I was so glad. Yeah. 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 And then he brought so in like another... three other guys with him. I'm like, hey, you're a fisher, a man. Yeah. And they're going to be here one night. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Yeah. 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 I was wondering if they'd be here tonight. That's why we have a time. Yeah, I did invite them, but like after that, it goes to the practice with the kids, mm -hmm. soccer practice or whatever. So. But that's another yeah. prayer answer. Yeah. But he's yeah. in church. He's been going to church every Sunday. Good. Too. Good. 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 So that's good. 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 Amen. Awesome. That's another answered prayer. Yeah. Amen. 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 Rachel, praise report. Yes, we had been praying for my mom's uh, maintenance man. His name's Ed, and he's older. Not older, <laughs> but he's in good shape. He had COVID. And so uh, yesterday the Lord let me see him, and he looks so good. He's lost a lot of weight, and now he has to leave his job because he's weakened by the COVID. So uh, we need to keep him in prayer for provision, and I believe that he's a believer. Um, we've always blessed him, and he's always been open to what we've spoken to him about the Lord. Me and my nephew, right, God bless you on the sidewalk farm and stuff. So if we could just remember him, that God will provide. Ed. Ed. Hey, yeah, he's a really good, good guy. Yeah, he's a really good guy. Him and his wife. So, Amen. yeah. Amen. And the Lord knows his name. I don't know her name. Mrs. Ed. Yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Ed. Ed's wife. Ed's wife. Yeah. Ed's wife. All right. Ed's wife. Praise the Lord. Amen. But he healed him and he looks amazing. And Praise I was like, Lord. I couldn't believe the Lord let me actually see him because I didn't think I'd see him. I thought he was going to move out of building. Amen. Praise the nice. Lord. So, yeah, it was really Amen. awesome, actually. That's why I say God is good all the time. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Not just yeah. now and then. All the time. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to get started. Amen. We'll do prayer requests at the end. Yeah. As of today, I am down 36.2 pounds. Um, my dietitian said that I am doing good in everything, so she's moving me Praise to the next stage. Amen. 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 That is good. Well, she's lost that game. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. In many ways. In many ways. I, wish, I wish I could gain. Amen. Wait, yeah, yes. Yeah, well, she loves, you know, people keep bringing uh, desserts. 
For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the man's spirit within him? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. God the God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. No one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world. Remember, uh, the, the, the Spirit of the world is foolish, it's nothing. But the Spirit who is from God, that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught us by human wisdom, but in words taught by Spirit. Expressing spiritual truth in spiritual words. The man, check this out, the man or woman without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit of God. For they are foolishness to him. And he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. The spiritual man makes judgments about all things, but he himself is not subject to any man's judgment. For who, for, for who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 9 says this. It tells us this. You, however, are controlled not by sinful nature, but by the Spirit. If the Spirit of God lives in you, if the Spirit of God lives in you, tell somebody, if the Spirit of God lives in you, if the Spirit of God lives in you, you and if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. Amen? You got that? Yes. You got that? Yes. Amen? And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, in them he does not belong to Christ. Verse 10, But if Christ is in you, your body is dead because of sin, yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who lives in you. Amen. Go over to uh, verse 26. Verse 26. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And He who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. Amen. We cannot do nothing without the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right. Um, this is this is all scripture right here. Amen. Uh, matter of fact, today I heard on the radio, amen. Matter of fact, it was Billy Graham that I was hearing, amen. And he said that in this generation, there are what they call that what they call uh, practical Christians, mm. practical Christians. Who knows what? Uh, we all know what an atheist is, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know that you could be a, you could be a Christian but also an atheist? Mm. Yeah. Want to be Christian? Exactly. <laughs> Amen. A Christian who also acts like uh, that is an atheist is a Christian that. Say they, they know God, they believe in God, but yet they act and live like they're still in the world. 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 Amen? They do not have the Spirit in them, because if they have the Spirit in them, they wouldn't be acting like the world. world. Amen? Practical Christians. Amen? That, that he calls them. Amen? It's that same thing as a lukewarm Christian. A lukewarm Christian. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're hot or cold. Amen. Oh, but uh, you know, because I don't know what you know, it's 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 something. It's something that God. Amen. Father. It's something that God don't even know what the heck you are. But it's not 
a lukewarm Christian. It's just lukewarm person because you're not a Christian if you're lukewarm. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Lukewarm per, yeah. Yeah. person. So yeah, yeah. Lukewarm, 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 lukewarm want to be Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 out of his mouth. But, but it, it's 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 amazing how that scripture of revelations, Amen. To where God, you know, God, the all-knowing God, Amen, mm -hmm. omniscient, omnipotent, comes to a point where I don't even know what you are, and because I don't even know if you're hot or cold or, or lukewarm, I'm just gonna out of my mouth, Amen, and and and, and that's it. Be done with you. Be done with you. Right, right, right. Amen. Sis, you belong over here. Amen. Come on. Lord. Amen. Come on. Amen. She'll be teaching for you so tonight, amen. So tonight, amen. Our second part, amen, is gonna be the Holy Spirit empowers. The Holy Spirit empowers. And we're gonna be in Acts chapter one. Amen. And we're gonna be starting in verse one through eight. Amen. Verse one through eight. And I believe that if you really grab to this, amen, it's gonna open up your eyes. And, 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 and I recommend, I recommend that if you've never read the book of Acts, read it. Amen. Read the book of Acts. Amen. Um, get yourself a good commentary. Amen. A good commentary to follow along with it, to help you break it down. But, I mean, the book, the book of Acts is called the book of Acts. Amen. Because it, it acts out. Amen. The, 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 the journey of the disciples and the journey of Christ. Amen. And that's what that's what that's what that book of Acts uh, represents. Amen. The book of Acts, Amen, was written by Luke. Amen. Luke. We don't we don't know much about Luke, Amen, except that he did write the, the Gospel of Luke and Amen. And that he was he was more or less um a good partner of the Apostle Paul. Amen. Amen. And Luke, amen, the writer of Acts, amen, also wrote down all the the, the, the missionary work of, of the Apostle Paul. Amen. Luke was a doctor. He was a physician. Yeah. Amen. He was a physician. Amen. And we also know that we also know that that he was one of uh, Jesus Christ's uh, right hand men. Amen. Right, right hand man. He was always there. He was always there with Jesus. Amen. Even up uh, to his death. In the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 1, it tells us this. And this is Luke writing. In my former book, his former book that he's talking about is the Gospel of Luke. Amen. Theophilus. This is the only place in the Bible where you're going to hear, see that word Theophilus. Amen. The, I, I try to look it up. Amen. It doesn't really give much detail who he was. All we know that he was a friend of Luke. He was, you know, and if, if he was a friend of Luke, amen, that means he was born again. He was a believer. Amen. amen. His his name is translated God, God lover. Amen. Mm -hmm. God lover. Amen. So if you want to name your, your son Theophilus, that's fine. Because now you know it, it means God lover. Amen. He loves God. Amen. I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach. Amen. He's talking about the Gospel of Luke. Until the day he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. Amen. We need to we need to really focus on this. Amen. Look what he says. Amen. Verse two. I mean, we just go back to verse one. I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach. Amen. Which is the gospel of Luke. Amen. Until the day he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions. Through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. Amen. After his suffering, he showed himself to these men and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. 
On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father has promised. Someone say wait. Someone wait. say wait. 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 Look, look to someone and say, you need to wait. 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 <laughs> for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you'll be baptized with the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Verse 6. So when they met together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of heaven, I mean, the kingdom of it, to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the dates the Father has sent by His own authority. Verse 8, But you will receive power. Someone say power. Power. When the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. The earth. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight, Father God. We just pray, Father God, that your word, Father God, just comes out like a rushing wind, Father God. And Father God, open up our ears and our eyes, Father God. But most of all, open up our hearts so we can just receive, Father God, the seed, Father God, that you want to plant tonight, Father God. We give you glory and praise in Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. 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 And amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We need to understand one thing what Luke is talking about here. Amen. We need to understand that Jesus is setting the setting the setting everything in order right here. Amen. He already he already was crucified. Amen. He was already crucified on the cross. Amen. And now he came back. He came back. We all know the story. He he came back, right? And now he made himself visible to the apostles right here. To the apostles. Amen. And he's telling them. Jesus is telling them. Amen. Do not leave Jerusalem. Amen. But wait for the gift my father promised. Amen. And that's the problem with the church today. Amen. That's the problem with, 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 with many uh, people. Amen. That they just don't want to wait. Amen. They want it now, 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 now. I want my blessing now, 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 now. Amen. They don't want to wait. Amen. It's like it's like someone that puts a, something in the microwave and, and the instructions say four minutes and they pull it out in two minutes because they don't want to wait. Amen. Wow. They don't want to wait. Amen. <laughs> I mean, our granddaughter was here yesterday. Amen. Oh and it was my a gosh. blessing. I mean, it was a blessing just to see her. Amen. Uh, what she was going through. Grandma ordered her some things, amen, from Amazon, amen, and, and they were supposed to arrive today and uh, yesterday, amen, and, and the Amazon says we'll be arriving by 6.30, amen. Our granddaughter was here, amen, asking grandma, amen, grandma, what time is it? What She's six years old, going on 16. Grandma, what time is it? It's 6 o'clock. What time is it going to be here? At 6.30. Can you check again? And she was going from the window to the door. To the window to the door. Oh to the window. She would look at the freeway. She would, I see an Amazon truck up there. And grandma, I see the Amazon truck up there. Right? And then 6.30 came around. And she's like, I can't wait anymore. Grandma, where is it at? Where is it at? And, and then and then grandma gets a grandma gets a text saying uh, we're running late uh, oh. and be there by ten right oh, oh, and she stood here at the door she stood here at the door and these were the exact words that came out of her mouth she said this is the sorriest day of my life this oh. is the worst day of my life <laughs> and she cried because her dad was coming to pick her up oh. she did not want to leave she didn't want to, you know she, she waited but she didn't want to wait amen. She didn't want to wait. I would tell her, wait. And me, I told her, me, you know, I call her my love. I love, wait. It'll, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be here. Amen. You know, well, I want to know now. I want to know. And, 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 you know, and, and, this, and when I read this, I, it reminded me of my granddaughter where it says, don't leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised. Amen. <laughs> she was waiting for the gift. Amen. Grandma promised. Amen. <laughs> but the gift wasn't coming. Because Amazon was running late. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But it did come, and she got it today. Uh, when Grandma picked her up from school, so she was happy. Amen. Ah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. We was happy. Amen. You know, that. 
And then, amen. But what is the promise? What is the promise that 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 he was telling the disciples about? Amen. The promise was the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Now there's a difference, beloved. There's a difference, beloved, of having the Holy Spirit and having the power of, of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. There's a totally different. There's totally different. Amen. You can have the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can speak in tongues and you know you can do all all, all the the holy you know calisthenics, but have no power. Have no power. Matthew chapter 10. Matthew, quickly. Matthew chapter 10. Look what it says. Amen. Matthew chapter 10 says this. Uh, verse 1. Amen. 
Uh, there was a program that came on TV called Good Times. Mm -hmm. Amen? And, 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 no, no. JJ, that was his famous word. What was his famous word? Dynamite. Amen? Dynamite. And, you know, and this is what we get our word from. There it is right there. Yeah, I got the power. Amen. <laughs> So this is what the, this is the power that that Luke is writing about. It's just not any other power. It's not like a power you're plugging in your lamp to the wall to get power or anything. No, he's talking about explosive dynamite wow. power. Amen. The po that power of the Holy Spirit will, that will blow things up. Can someone say amen? amen? Amen. The book of Acts was written over a period of 30 years. Amen? It took Luke, uh, Luke a pair of, like, like 30 years, amen, to actually write this book of Acts. Amen? But we need to understand something back, back in our text in Acts chapter 1. Amen? He tells us, he tells us right here again in verse 4, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my Father promised. And like I said earlier, too many people get tired of waiting. They, 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 not, they don't have patience, amen. My wife tells me a lot of times, you don't have patience, amen. And, and I do have patience, but there's some things I don't have patience. So, Lord, I need help in that area, amen. But he says, but wait for the gift my Father promised, amen, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you'll be baptized with the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit, amen. He told that he was telling the disciples, just wait. Just wait. When you know when someone comes up and talks to you, you know what? I feel like leaving the church. Uh, uh, you know, it's not doing nothing for me. Uh, or just, no, 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 brother. No, no, sister. Wait. Wait. Amen. You know, if you know, some things don't happen overnight. Can someone say amen? Right. Come amen. On. I mean, uh, you know, all of us in this room, amen. God worked. We're, we're, we're a work in progress. Amen. Amen. We're, we're still not there. We're still not there. Thank God we're not like we used to be. Amen. Amen. But we haven't gotten to where we need to be. Amen. Because we be we're a work in progress. Amen. We're a work in progress. We're, we're, like, we're like the clay. We're like that clay on the potter's wheel. Amen. That, you know, God's just, you know, molding us. Amen. Molding us. Getting us right. And there's, oh, you know what? Uh. Never mind. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, he's, you know, he still likes to listen to oldies when he's on his bike. I need to get rid of that, and, you know, and, and redo this, and you know, and so forth. Amen. You know, uh, but yeah. So you know, he's telling him, wait. Just he's telling him, he said, wait, wait for the gift my father promised. Amen. How many like gifts? Amen. amen. We all like gifts. Amen. Right. Right. And sometimes we need to wait for our gift. Amen. Right. We need to wait. Amen. Just like the Amazon guy. We need to wait on the Amazon guy. Amen. But in a few, you'll be back, uh, John baptized with water, but in a few days you'll be baptized with the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. All, everybody in this room has been baptized. Correct? Amen. amen. So when you got baptized, amen, you know, you're immersed under the water, right? Totally, your whole body, right? Got wet under the water and you come out amen this is the same this is the same way jesus is describing the holy spirit amen that when we get baptized with this type of holy spirit that he's talking about the dunamis uh, the dynamite the dunamis type of holy spirit amen we're going to be totally totally from head Emerged. to the soles of our feet amen immersed amen with the power. Can someone say amen? Amen. amen? amen. Verse 6. So when they met together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Amen. You know, the disciples still hadn't got it. Read it. Read it. It's, they still, Jesus is telling them, you know, in a few days, amen, something's going to happen. You're going to receive a certain power of the Holy Spirit that you're not... That's just going to turn the world upside down. Amen? But yet, they were worried about restoring the kingdom to Israel instead of what Jesus was talking about. That's why Jesus had to come out and tell them, 
it is not for you to know the times or the dates the Father has set by his own authority. Amen? Amen. Then Jesus went back to tell them, but you will receive power, dunamis, dynamite, when the Holy Spirit comes on you. When the Holy Spirit comes on you. Amen? <laughs> then he goes on to say, and you will be my witnesses. What? Right. What's a witness? Us. What's a, no, no, but oh. what is a witness? The person that so tells what went on to the past or whatever. Can you hold an account for what's with? going on? Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Eh? Uh, exactly. You know, a, a witness on, on, you know, what they saw, what they heard. Amen. And all these disciples were witnesses already. Amen. Folks, you know, they've been walking with Jesus for three and a half years. Amen. They're there. What was the first miracle that Jesus did? Turn water to wine. Turn water into wine. They were there. They were there. They were at the wedding feast. Amen. They are at the wedding feast. Where, where Jesus turned water into wine. That, that was a witness. They witnessed it. They witnessed uh, him healing the lepers, they, healing the blind, healing the sick, raising the dead. They're, they're witnesses to that. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses. He didn't say, and you, and, uh, you will receive power of the Holy Spirit when it comes on you, and you're going to go out and heal people. He didn't say that you're going to go over there and raise the dead. He didn't say you're going to go here, you're going to go do, you know, great things and all that. No, 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 no. He said that you will be my what? Witness. witness. He will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Amen. We, as born-again believers... When we have this power of the Holy Spirit, we are not to sit on our blessed assurances. Amen? Okay. And do nothing. Come on. Amen? Come on. We are not... We, we, yeah, it, we are to go to church. We are to go to church. Amen? We are to do all those things. Amen? Amen? But when we have the power of the Holy Spirit, amen, we should be out there doing what? Witnessing. witnessing. Outreaching once a week. Outreaching. Witnessing. Amen. Telling people. Amen. Telling people of your testimony. When was the last time you shared your testimony with anybody? Amen. Don't raise your hand. Amen. <laughs> the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witness. witness. He didn't say that, Eo, you're going to go to the hospital and lay hands on the sick. or you're, No, 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 no. He's saying that. You're gonna be my witness. You're gonna you're gonna tell people what I did for you, what I delivered you from. I healed you from hepatitis C. I I I I I I, I got rid of that addiction from you. I uh, so you know everything. You're gonna be my witness. You're gonna be my witness of what I did for you. Amen. Amen. In Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria. And to the ends of the earth. What Jesus is saying here, amen, in Jerusalem, amen, in your town, in Baldwin Park, in Covina, in La Fuente, and wherever you live, Montebello, wherever you live, in Glendora, wherever you live, in Jerusalem, and then all Judea, then you go to the other cities, in all Judea, and then to Samaria, to the unbelievers, because the Samaritans were Gentiles, were unbelievers, amen? They are worshiping other gods, amen? To Samaria, and then to the ends of the earth, amen? Now look at everything God put, everything God puts is in order, beloved. Everything's in order. I'm getting excited because this is just awesome. Everything's in order. Look at if you read the book of Acts, you should write, you need to write this down. If you read the book of Acts, he said this. You're going to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Okay? Look it. In the book of Acts, it's broken down in three separate areas. Chapters 1 through 7. 
The Bible is broken down that they're preaching the gospel to Jerusalem. In, in chapters 8 through 12, the book of Acts is broken down that they're preaching the gospel to Judeans and Sumerians. And in chapter 13 to the end of 28 of the book of Acts, they're preaching the gospel to the entire world. That's great. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Amen. He tells them, Let's go to Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth, and that's exactly what they did. Mm -hmm. Chapters 1 through 7 is to Jerusalem, 8 through 12 is to Judea and to the Samarians, 13, and 13 to 28, amen, is to all the earth. Amen. The key word, the key word in this is witness. Amen. Someone say witness. 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 Amen. We cannot be a witness <laughs> unless we that are. That was a bird saying hallelujah. Amen. That was, that was that the bird? That was the bird. We wow. cannot be a witness unless we are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Can someone say amen? Amen. amen. Now we also need to we also need to understand this. Where was where 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 was Jesus crucified at? The mount of isn't it? He was crucified in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Amen. But yet he told the disciples, when you get this power, when you get this this explosive power, the Holy Spirit, I want you to go back to Jerusalem to be my witness, to be a witness. Amen? What, that, 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 of everything I did. And the disciples, are telling them, the disciples are telling them, wait a minute, you want us to go back to the place that they crucified you at? He said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has anybody ever crucified you by mouth? Ooh, or slander? Come on, somebody. Uh, or slander or gossip about you or anything? Huh? Yep. Stab you in the back? Oh, I got you, brother. I got you, sister. To the wheels fall off. Amen? And then they just like, hmm, huh? 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 Come on. Preach it. Go Hello. back and witness to them. Hello. Go back and witness to them. Ouch. You know? Go back and witness to them. Amen? <laughs> then he tells them, go to Judea. Amen? Go to Judea. Judea was a, pla a, Ju Judea was a place that they rejected Christ. They rejected the gospel. Amen? But yet, Jesus told the disciples, Amen. Go to Judea. Amen. And then Samaria, amen, where the Gentile people, where they worshiped other gods, amen. They were doing their thing, amen. They were, you know, drinking their chelas and their corona, and they're doing all that, amen. But yet he says, go witness to them. Go witness to them. Amen. And then to the ends of the earth. Earth. Amen. Go quickly to John chapter 16. I'm sorry, John 16? Yes, John 16. Verse 5. I'm going to be reading through 5 through, through 16. We'll be closing with this. John, what you say? Sorry. 16. John 16. Cinco. John 16, uh, verses 5 through 16. The word of God says this. Now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you ask me, where are you going? Because I have said these things. Because I have said these things, you are filled with grief. But I tell you that I tell you the truth. It is for your good. It is for my good, your good, Alex is good, Dez good, all our good, Amen. he's good, right? all, all of our goods, amen, that I am going away. Unless I go away, the counselor, the Holy Spirit, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, the Holy Spirit, he will convict the world mm. of guilt in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment in regard to sin because men do not believe in me 
in regard to righteousness because I am going to the Father where you can see me no longer and in regard to judgment because the prince of this world does not those this world now stands condemned. Verse 12. I have much more to say to you, but more than you cannot can now bear. But mm -hmm. when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what he yet, is yet to come. He will bring glory to me by taking from what is mine and making it known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. In a little while you will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me again. Amen? Mm -hmm. Everything God does not want the world, everything that God does not the world, want to reveal to the world, he's going to reveal to us. Amen? Quickly back, quickly back, I got, I, I got, I got, got bring this, I got to bring this to a close. Where to? Back to Acts, back to Acts, uh, chapter 1, verse 9. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes and that cloud hid him Amen. from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same way Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. He told the disciples right here, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in all Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And yet, he gave them something more powerful to witness about. When he left them there and they looked at him ascending back into heaven. And after this part right here, after this part, Jesus is no longer in the scene until the book of Revelation when he comes back for his church. Right. And someone say amen. amen. The same way Jesus ascended, he is coming back, beloved. Same way. He is coming back. So until he comes back, and we have that power of the Holy Spirit, let <clears throat> each and one of us know that we need to be a witness. Share your testimony with someone. Amen. So and if you don't have a testimony... And that's even a better testimony. <laughs> Amen? That's even a better testimony if you don't have a testimony. So that's how how you gain power by being a witness? You have the power. You have the power. Amen? You have the power. Amen? You just have to put that witness. power into motion. Amen? Amen. The Bible says that faith without works is dead. You can sit. You can sit on the couch all day long, and and, and, and this age, you know, and and because of your faith, you can sit on that couch, the, the couch all day long, and this person believe in God that God's going to do something. Mm -hmm. He can, mm -hmm. but you you need to put your faith in action. motion, in action. And that's the same way with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When you got you, you know each one of us in this room knows right. you have the power. Amen? Mm -hmm. If you have the power. And once you got that power, you got to be a witness. Mm -hmm. you got to be a witness. Can someone say amen? Amen. amen. Give the Lord praise. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And if you just go quickly, I mean, if what, if you just turn your, your page 1 to chapter 2, amen, verse 1, he says, in a, when Jesus told the disciples, in a few days... Well, that few days came, and in chapter 2, you see uh, when the, the Holy Spirit comes, 
when that's when we get the day of Pentecost. Amen. Amen. Yeah. When they were all filled with that power of the Holy Spirit and started speaking in other tongues and 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 the fire, fire, uh, the tongue of fire and everything. Amen. So we see that right in chapter two, and then from there you see the power go go throughout the whole book. They of were gathered. Amen. In the upper room. Amen. Read. Read the book of Acts. Read the book of Acts. Amen. And just read, read a chapter tonight when you get home. Tomorrow read another chapter. Read the book of Acts. Amen. If, if you need a concordance, tell me. I'll get you a, I'll, I'll get you a concordance that, that will help you. Matter of fact, don't you have a, a breakdown of the book of Acts? Mm -hmm. A book? Yeah. Yeah, she has one. Amen. And, and wherever she got it from, we'll get you the same one. Amen. To help you. Amen. But it's just the book of Acts... If there's any two in the New Testament, if there's any books that you need to read, is the book, book of John of and the book of Acts. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You read those two, amen. It'll, it'll just bring a they'll bring the whole New Testament into light. And in every place else you go, you know you'll see, you know you'll 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 see how it just all comes together. Amen. Nice. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to lift up any prayer requests. Amen. Then we're going to take up the offering. Like that. We got. So, um, on the prayer request, um, I know that you, some of you already voiced your prayers for um, tonight. So, just go ahead as we go into prayer. Just pray for that. Um, I do have some that I got today. Um, my cousin Rocky, he lives in Fresno. I had just found out he's been there coming. Tomorrow will be two weeks, didn't even know he was in the hospital. Um, due to COVID, he has pneumonia. He's been on dialysis and they intubated him. So just keep him in prayer that his oxygen levels come up, the pneumonia is gone. Um, for our brother Donald's um, friend Ricky, he was the best man to his wedding. He's also in the hospital in uh, Upland. Um, needs oxygen levels to go up. Um, he's in course again he's in there for COVID. Uh, for brother Mike and his wife Irene she's pregnant with twins she's due to have her, her she was she wasn't due to have the kids till I think November, November I think but they're going to go ahead and give her a c-section on the 34th week she's 32 weeks right now um, because her two girls one of her girls may not be growing so keep the twins in prayer uh, baby Rodriguez is continuing praying for speedy recovery um, our prayers, plus the other women that I asked to pray for him, uh, baby Rodriguez, they reached all the way to Texas. Amen. So we know the prayers for my cousin Robbie can reach Fresno. Just like right. we did in Texas for my cousin who was going through chemo. So let's keep bombarding heaven for them. For my brother Jerry and Gracie, that they may get on that home program because they're homeless, that they get on the program. And let's pray for marriages because marriages are getting hit big time. Big time. Oh. Tell me about I, I get texts, I get phone calls, times I sit on the phone, he'll be calling me from work, I don't answer because I'm talking to somebody. It's crazy. It's just crazy. But let's pray for marriages. Let's, let's, let's be there for each other. Let's, uh, let's continue praying for Nico's grandmother um, and then the Sanchez family, which is dear friends of mine that I grew up with in my neighborhood. Um, David Sanchez is his funeral services are Monday. Just pray for his wife, Annette, and the rest of the Sanchez family. Um, and then, like I said, all the other prayers that you guys said earlier, let's just go ahead and just just pray. And um, that, that God move, that God's will be done where it needs to be done. Okay? So we come in agreement? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So we're going to close in these prayers. Amen. And then uh, let's all stand. Amen. Let's all stand. And, um, Let's go on prayer, and then we're, uh, Sister Rachel blessed us with the food tonight, amen, so make sure you thank her, and we're going to uh, bless, bless her as we pray, and then uh, we'll lift up the offering also. Heavenly Father, we just come before tonight, Father God, we just give you praise, we give you glory, Father God, as we just lift up all our prayer requests to you, all the needs, Father God, everything that's written down on this paper, Father God, we just pray right now, Father God. We thank you for the praise report all the way from Texas, Lord God. Father God, as they just FaceTimed us, Lord God, and, and show us show us your, your miracle, Father yes, God. Right. 
And Father God, just like we read tonight, Father God, that's the power of the yes. Holy Spirit, Lord God. Just reaching reaching Texas, Lord God, and, 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 and just seeing the baby, Father God. Uh, just just doing good, Father God. Just doing good. That's a wit that we're witnesses. Just like I said the, the, in the Bible, we're witnesses to that, Father God. And Father God, we just pray, Father God, that your will will be done in each one of our lives, Father God. Uh, everything, Father God, from marriages, Father God, to our homes, to our finances, Father God, and and Father God, to our bodies, our, our health, Father God, and and Father God, uh, Alex, uh, Alex needs to go to work tonight, Father God. I just pray for a hedge of protection of, upon him, Lord God, as he goes, he'll go to work tonight, working over there in L.A. on the freeway, Lord God. Uh, we just pray, Father God, that you protect them out there tonight, Father God. Protect his co-workers, Father God, out there, Father God. Just give them the, the strength, Father God, to get through the night. And, and tomorrow, Father God, that he'll, he'll, he'll get rest, Lord God. Give him rest, Lord God, from work, from laboring tonight, Father God. Father God, we, we lift up Adrian, little Adrian tonight, Father God. Uh, that he was sick at, sick at the hospital. We pray for healing in his little body, Lord God. Uh, uh, we pray for Scott and Vidi, also his parents, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We just lift them up to you, Lord God. And, and Father God, uh, tomorrow's going to be a, a memorial day of uh, September, September 11th, Lord God. Uh, we just pray for all the first yes, responders. We, we pray for all the families, Father God. And, and we just pray, Father God, as as, uh, as they put on at whatever memorial uh, they put on tomorrow, yes, Father God. It'll just be a blessing to people, yes, Lord God. So, Father God, as we close tonight, we lift up the food, Father yes, God. Lord. We lift up the fellowship, Father Thank God. We ask that you just bless the hands of Rachel, Father yes, God, Lord. for providing it, Lord God. And, Thank you, and Father God, we lift up the offering tonight, Father yes, God. Lord. We just ask that you bless this offering, Father yes, God. And, and press down, shaking up and running over, Thank Father you. God. Bless the hands that will give tonight, Father Thank God. And those that can't give, Father God, uh, we ask that you bless them anyway so one day they can give, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, Father God, we close out tonight. Father God, yes. all those that watch our live stream, we thank you for watching. Yes, we you. love you. We praise you. Uh, we, we just we just know that one day that you'll be here. Yes, you'll be here at Casa Murillo uh, at Bible study. Yes, and we just love you, and we just appreciate you thank for you, tuning Lord. in. And we just know that we know that we know that, that God's doing a work in you. So we just thank you tonight. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We lift up traveling mercies yes. tonight. In Jesus' name, and everybody say, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.